the recording started. Um, so first off, if you're just joining, just make sure to mute yourself so there's um, not a ton of background noise. Um, want to say huge congrats to everybody that earned Success Club in July. I don't know if you guys saw all the different Success Club rewards, but you earned a hat. And then if you earn Success Club three months between July and December, you earn a tank top which the tanks are super cute. I'm excited about that. And then all six months, July through December, earn Success Club and you get the Lululemon duffel bag. And it's worth over $150. I would never spend $150 on a duffel bag at Lululemon. I love Lululemon, but I just wouldn't do it. So I'm super excited for that bag. Um, yes, Lisa, give me all the free stuff. So I wanna dive in. I'm so excited for this Zoom tonight. If you guys received my email, um, not all of you will, because. The coach office doesn't let me send you and send an email to all of you. But the ones of you that did, I sent you the recording for Janelle Summers training from last week. And then also, I am so excited that you guys are here tonight because we're going to be covering inviting. And is Whitney on because she had something going on and needed to go first. So give me one second. Um, sorry, there's a message. All right, I'm good. Does anyone, while I get Whitney on, is there a leader that would like to start and share their best inviting practices or tips? Lisa, where are you? Do you want to start? Okay, I'm here. Awesome. Okay, putting me right on the spot here. Um, so can I share inviting tips for um, challenge, coach, um, can it be anything? Anything and everything. Okay. Um, so you guys, I, um, so I have, okay, I have a few tips for you guys as far as inviting. Um, so I guess kind of the first thing that um, I like to do is I like to plan my, um, Plan my month ahead so I kind of know um, maybe when my next group is going to be. Um, so, for example, I know August, right? We have to be mindset, um, we have lift um, that are on promo, um, as well as I have some sneak peeks and webinars on my agenda for August. And so, for me, then it kind of makes it easier on figuring out um, what I'm going to invite to and when. So, I think that's for me, that's like the first thing. So, then each week I kind of know how I'm inviting. Um, but as far as who I invite to, okay, so I would, I was going to say like my, um, my, I guess my first like three tips is, um, and I know you guys have probably heard this a lot, but like having that dream list, um, for your coach, like a dream coach list. Okay. Um, this is something that you guys have probably heard many times, um, before from other leaders, but having that running list and every month adding to it, um, and it should make you probably like really freaking nervous to like invite them. Um, because those are the people that like, you probably look at it and you're like, Hey, these are people that I want to run with me. I want to go on these trips with, um, and literally you can say that. So for like, I'll just give you kind of an example script. So we have Tahoe coming up, um, here in, um, what is that end of September. And so something that I had been doing pretty much all summer long, because I know we're pretty, we're pretty close to locking out the Tahoe is I was going back to my dream list and I was asking, I was basically inviting them and saying, Hey, my, um, myself and some of my other coach partners, we have this trip to Tahoe. I would love for you to be there having coffee with us, going hiking. Like, would you be interested in doing this with me? Like something short and simple and to the point. Um, and I feel like when I have trips coming up, I try to utilize that and try to get people to envision like, and say like having a margarita or having that cup of coffee, being on the beach or whatever it is, because if people can envision that. Um, I, I feel like it makes it more real for them. Um, so, so sorry, Christy, if I just kind of am like, kind of like ranting here, I get so excited. Um, and so, but you kind of want to paint that picture for them of like how you see them on your team or what would make them a great coach, right? Maybe it's somebody that you guys see blasting just positivity, uh, quotes or whatever it is. Tell them that, tell them that they have that great energy and why not, like, why not bring that energy to the community that we have here and, get, and bring that side, um, make a side income or make a full income. Um, or maybe you see them posting about their fitness, or maybe you see them posting about, like in my case, um, I'm a fur mom, right? So I like to talk with other fur moms. Whatever it is, like make that connection on that interest that you guys have in common. Um, state that and invite them to it. Um, 
So that's personally what I like to do when I invite specifically to coaching is connecting with those, um, those people that, that are basically my people. Sorry. I'm kind of like, Oh no, I love it. I love it. Um, we'll, we'll come back to, to challenge groups because Whitney, I know has to jump off. And so I, didn't want to interrupt you but those are awesome and I, I love the way you invite because you're always bringing people on that journey with you so I'm gonna give it over to Whitney Whitney has been using Instagram um, and stem social and basically using Instagram DMs to invite to a coach sneak peek and so I'm gonna just let her dive in and share that with you because I was blown away when she shared it with me and I'm super excited about it Cool. Thanks, Julie. Um, so I'm going to, um, if you can't see me, I'm in the car, so I'm going to uh, read to you what I've been sharing. Um, when somebody accepts my friend request on um, Instagram, so if you're not using STEM Social or a company that's kind of finding followers for you, that's okay. I didn't do it for such a long time. Um, so, but this is a message that you can still send to people when they accept your friend request which will then lead me into one week later, the next message that you send to them, inviting them to the coach opportunity. So let me break those down for you guys. So you have it. So when someone um, accepts my friend request, I do something like, hey love, um, I love your page so much. Wanted to thank you for the follow as well. My name is Whitney. I'm a personal trainer and wellness specialist and live out here in Cali. I really love learning and connecting with those who I follow too. I'm super passionate about rescuing and rehoming shelter doggies. What do you love to do? Are you on a health and fitness journey as well? So I start with that. Start, you know, I would say probably expect maybe half to respond back to that or, you know, have some sort of response and the other half you'll never hear from again, which is fine because this next message, put it on your calendar from, you know, if you have a tracking system, when you send that first message, now jot it on your calendar. If it's on a Wednesday, that next Wednesday is when your next message goes out. And it can be something, um, I'll read you kind of an example, one that I've been sending that's working really well. And there we go. Um, this is to the coach invite. So I use Instagram to invite pretty much to the coach invite only. And then from there, I put them in a sneak peek. So I'm always inviting to a sneak peek, either one that I've ran already. And now all those videos are in units. So if you guys are obviously, you know, have an upline coach who runs sneak peeks, um, then you're probably in one of theirs. Or if you run your own sneak peek, you might have this already set up. Put it into units so that at any point you can be adding people into your sneak peek group, whether you know you have one coming up or you've already done it, the content is there. And that makes this message work. So um, this was to a guy, uh, he was very into fitness, I saw it on his page, so I sent this. I said, you can say their name, Nick, I love your page and vibe. I know you're a CPT, so certified personal trainer, like me, and that you have a heart to help other people on their journey. I absolutely love being an online trainer and my team is a freaking blast. I started for the meal plans and the clients and I got a whole community of business friends and resources that expanded my reach. Have you ever thought about adding coaching into your business? Question mark. I know you'd be such a good fit for our team vibe um, with what you're doing now. Can I shoot, can I shoot you more info? Um, another option, one that's working really well too, is at the end, can I um, switch it up. So between can I shoot you more info or like if it's a girl, um, can I shoot you more info and we can set up a virtual coffee date to chat and talk more about it. And all of those have pretty much had, I would say about 50 to 60% um, success rate of people responding back that just say, yep, add me in, super excited to hear more about it. Um, so then you just go through and if you do Google Street, you can put them in your kind of tracking system, hit boom, boom, boom at the end of the day, check all their names and send them one email that has the link to your Facebook page, the link to your sneak peek, and you can um, then go right to your sneak peek in your pay in your Facebook group and see who's requesting to join into your sneak peek. 
So it's just been kind of a easy method of I know what I'm sending on what day for my invite. And then all I have to do from after that is send them an email that's already done. Um, it sends it out to them and then they're in charge of going in. So you're going to weed out the ones who aren't that serious about it just by, you know, they're not going to click on the Facebook link. So if you get them to click on the Facebook link, they're requesting to join, add them into your group, give them a day or two, you know, to really get through the information and then send them a follow up. So now you have your follow up message that goes out to them um, that just says, what did you think? Give me your feedback. I love hearing, you know, yay or nay, what your favorite parts were, um, what interested you about coaching, kind of go into that and you can start building that relationship and then schedule your virtual coffee date with them to where you can start talking more about um, the coach opportunity with them. I love it. Everyone's saying they love your virtual coffee date. Genius. So fun. And if they're in your town, say real coffee date. If they're not in your town, do virtual coffee date. And people love it. You know, every girl wants a virtual coffee date with, you know, another entrepreneur or woman. So, yeah, don't, it doesn't have to be so scary because I think you're going to get a lot of people who are like, yeah, I could, I could, I could meet another, another woman. No problem. <laughs> Um, so a couple questions. Did you send them any video recorded call with that email? Um, and then someone said, ask them if they're interested in more information about coaching. They say yes, ask for their email, and then send them the email with your Facebook and group link, and then set up a copy date. Sorry, trying to follow so good. Good um, point. Yeah, yeah, the system of it. When they say yes, good point, then you say Absolutely. Can't wait to chat more. What's your email? I'll send you some more info. So double whammy there. You have their email, which is glorious. Now they can go on your newsletters, your posts, your whatever, however you want to keep following up with those people in your life, you know, who are now on your email list. Um, but two, it kind of takes it away from social media, which is nice. It gives, you can talk a little bit longer. You can have some links and personal info. If you have kind of an intro video that you want to send to somebody instead of adding them to a sneak peek you could do it right there in the email you could put here's what coaching is here's my like christy here's my audio boom or if you have a couple of different videos here's how we get paid here's what coaching is here's how we get paid and here's a q a and so you could just have boom three little links to videos so you could do so much once you get to email um, and that's actually more appealing sometimes to people than having to go to a Facebook, like, because a lot of Instagram people don't have a Facebook. So once you kind of go through your first sneak peek and create the content, or you can use Christy's audio, you have something that you can email to people who aren't necessarily on Facebook. I love it. I love it. And the, the idea, guys, is to really take little pieces that you hear that make sense for you. Right. So like when Whitney says this, um, coach sneak peeks just aren't my thing, but I love what she's doing with the DMS because she's sending a message. Um, you know, she's using STEM social to grow her network. You can go grow your network on social media by following on, or on Instagram by following and unfollowing. And, um, those that follow you back, you send a message to them. You can do all that. STEM social will do it for you. If you want to pay for that, you don't have to. We all did it for free before STEM Social was around. Or, you know, we didn't pay anything. We did it all manually ourselves. But STEM Social will send that first message. This says, thank you for following. Like, here's what I'm about. What do you love to do? And even if they don't respond to her, because most people don't, she's sending that her system is a week later to send another message on, on um, Instagram through DM, inviting them essentially to the coach opportunity, inviting them to learn more, to get more info. So the thing that I love is I'm, I'm going to copy that, what she's doing, except I'm going to get their email and then send them the what is coaching audio and schedule a phone inter interview because that's the way I do it. So take the little pieces that make sense for you. Um, when I get someone's email, I put them on an email campaign so they get the what is coaching audio they get a thing that says, listen to this and schedule a call with me. And then three days later, it sends them an automatic email. Three days later, it sends them another follow-up. So they're continuously getting follow-ups from me. Um, so like I said, do what works for you that you're going to implement. Don't feel like, and if none of this works for you, don't do it. <laughs> 
on that on that message, good point, Christy. Um, the reason that's a week later is because in that first uh, that second message you're sending them, tell them, hey, I've been following you for a week now. I love your energy and vibe. You're so you know so that it's more authentic. Like I and even if you're not following them, even if you know Stim followed them for you or you found they unfollowed or let's see, they're following you but you're not following them. That's okay. Like who really goes through their list and sees who is actually following them? You know, let them know like, Hey, I've been checking out your page for the last week. Um, you have such a great vibe. Have you ever thought about coaching and jumping in with me? Love it. Thank you. Wit. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Alyssa, you got it. Alyssa got all that. And, and some people asked if you could share the scripts and the team page. Ooh, yes, I will do that. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wit. I know you got it. Awesome. Yeah. So, bye, bye. Cassie, where are you? I definitely, Cass has just been such a natural at inviting, and I definitely will make sure we hear from her. Where'd she go? Is she in? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. Thanks for jumping on, guys. Um, I... I've been really working hard on Instagram. So I'm glad that Whitney kind of was talking about Instagram because that's where I've been doing a lot of my connecting and inviting. And Whitney actually shared about Flume, which has changed my life. And I'm not sure all who has access to Flume, but it gives you an Instagram view on your computer. And I'm obsessed because I can answer messages by typing on a keyboard, not on a phone. So hot tip on that. Um, F-L-U-M-E, I believe. Yeah, F-L-U-M-E. Uh, so with that, I have been connecting lately. And what I do is I go on Instagram and I go through people who have liked my posts, um, people who are new to me that I've sent a message to. I use Stim Social. And I'm sending a love message first. So I'm sending them a compliment first before I'm inviting. And I've done cold inviting in the past, but I found like the last two months, that's just not, it's not working for me and people are either ignoring me or they're kind of put off by it. So that's my experience. Um, if cold inviting works for you, go for it. But what I do is I send a message that says, Hey gorgeous, how are you? I wanted to tell you how much I love your vibes and posts. Um, I'm really impressed with how you share your passion for life and health. And sometimes I'll, I'll change that up depending on the person, but it might be like vibes and your travels or passion for your family and health. Um, but it's just a, a welcome message, basically just complimenting them, saying how much I am impressed by them. And I get like a 90% probably rate back, you guys. It's nuts because people love compliments and it's non-threatening. I'm not inviting, you know, and they come back and then I ask the question. Um, they usually say, I love your page too. And I'm like, thank you. Uh, I love hearing from others. Are you doing anything right now um, with health or fitness that you're loving if they're a health and fitness person if they're not maybe for sure into health and fitness then I'll ask like how did you get started on your journey with your Instagram or whatever it is that they're sharing and then they get an opportunity to tell me their story and tell me who they are and I know from there if I'm inviting to a challenge group or if I'm inviting to coaching so yes this seems like a little bit more of a process but what i found is in the last month i have this constant cycle going of of messages and it's great because i'm always inviting every day i'm always sending connection messages every day or every other day depending on how much time i have um but yeah it, i mean it keeps people in my pipeline i'm never running out of people to talk to so and flume is great because i can go in and look at the unread messages check the unread and quickly go through that so that is what I'm doing on Instagram. And one more thing on Instagram, I am, so I talk with Sydney Maurer is my regional person through corporate. And she was encouraging me to be doing call to actions every day. <laughs> At first I was like, oh, on Instagram stories and Facebook stories. I think that's a lot, but she's like, no, just trust me. It doesn't have to be in your face, like a formal call to action, you know, thing. But every single day I need to be sharing about coaching, sharing about my challenge group, sharing about my free group, sharing about my clients, my own health journey, and doing things that are passive, like taking a poll about, um, do you struggle with this too? Yes or no, or yes, or definitely yes. It's good to give two options of yes. <laughs> and swipe up, look at who reacted to that poll on there and take a screenshot and then you can either come back later and message those people or message them right away and send that connect or whatever. And I send a message to just saying like, thanks for showing love on my Instagram story or my post. 
Um, I appreciate the love and encouragement. I'm not sure if you're just showing love or if you're interested. I, you know, are you trying to work on any health goals? Just a simple follow up like that. Or if it is a, a direct call to action on your Instagram story, maybe I'm sharing about the challenge group I have coming up with my best life tribe. Um, I'll just say, Hey, do you want more information? We're getting started on Monday. I'd love to have you in there short to the point, um, just to get the reaction. So that is what I'm doing currently. That's working. So I hope that helps. I love it. I love all these things. Are you guys getting great information? Comment in the chat and just let these leaders know. Cause they are, you know, they started out brand new coaches, just like all of you guys. And they've had to dive in and take action and figure it out and they're giving you all their best tips. So definitely take the pieces that make sense to you, implement, take action. Um, that way you're out there helping more people. I'm so excited about this. Okay. So let's see. Um, who else do we have? I'm trying to see everyone's names. Who else would like to share one of their processes? I just knew that Whitney, Cass, and Lisa were prepared. But who else would like to share? I can share. I'm awesome. at work, so I hope my pager doesn't go off. <laughs> um, but I started doing something like a week ago on Instagram because I was just getting really overwhelmed with Instagram. Um, and it's been working really well, so I'll just kind of show you guys quick. Um, so I made a spreadsheet, and I'm not normally a spreadsheet person, but I'll show it to you and what it looks like because it's super simple. So basically what I'm doing is every day, I just go on Instagram and search hashtags and find five people that like I really click and connect with that obviously aren't already coaches um, and follow them, um, like love on some of their stuff, comment on a couple things, um, and then I put them on this list. And then the next day I do the same thing. Um, and then each day, so like, I'll go back on Tuesday, I'll go back to Monday and still like continue to love on some other stuff. Um, and then what I do is like three, four days later, once I've been loving on their stuff for a couple days um, or at the end of the week, I'll go in and send them this message. So I say, um, hey lady, not sure if you've noticed, but I've pretty much been stalking your page over the last few days. Hope you don't think I'm a total creeper, haha. I honestly just love your page and found it super inspiring. I feel like we have so much in common and I felt the need to ask because I'd seriously love to work with you. Have you ever considered online health and fitness coaching? Totally okay if it's not for you. I just had to ask because I think you could inspire and help so many other ladies out there. And I've gotten a really, really great response from that. And then I just have like a color coded, like anyone that's interested, I make pink. Anyone that says like not right now, I make yellow. Anyone on, I am, have invited, I make green. Um, and I'm literally just five people a day. And then if I feel like following more, I put them over here in this like extra section. But so far, um, I've added like four or five people to the sneak peek and I've only been doing it for a week. I love that. Oh my goodness. So good. You guys are all so amazing. This is so much fun. Um, I, you know, I have a system and I have processes and I'm always learning. And I think the biggest thing is to always be learning from other people because when you socialize your learning and you hear from other people and you're, you're able to tweak things and make them better. So I, I am like going to have to listen to this team training again because I'm trying to focus and host it and I haven't been taking notes, but I need to go back and like take notes and implement everything you guys are sharing. So thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, who else is on that would like to share? Thanks, Trace. I'm glad your, your pager didn't go off. I can share one more if, if no one else wants to. I had a third thing, but I didn't want to take yeah. it. <laughs> oh yeah, go. I okay. had this epiphany this afternoon. I feel like an idiot. I did not run a free group last month on my own and I'm struggled so hard last month that I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is why I run a free group every second week of the month. And I just invite anybody and everybody to that. And the great part of that about that is I'm adding value to them without inviting right away. 
and I can share openly about being a Beachbody coach and kind of disperse little pieces of coaching and what we have to offer with programs and before and afters and stuff through the week. And you can base that free group around whatever you want. I know this is probably not anything big, but for new coaches, this is such a non-threatening way to invite and feel good about taking action and helping people without that like selling part of it, I guess. And so at the end of the week, like Thursday or so, I usually run like a five day group. I put an event in the group, invited them to our best life tribe, which is our ongoing challenge group. And every month we have a different theme. And so I'll go live in there, share about the upcoming group, what it's about, um, and then just have them RSVP to that event. Again, super non-threatening. They can hit the going button, <laughs> the maybe button, and then you can reach out to them and chat more about their goals and get them connected. But I've had such great success with that. I've even found coaches that way that join the challenge group and then become coaches. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Cass, do you have um, any like free groups that are created that you could post like an example, like a almost like example posting of what to post yeah. each day in the team page? Yeah, I, yeah. That the water group is what I, I typically run and you can kind of change it up. I am doing a faith and fitness group right now that's on fire. I have like almost a hundred women in there and I'm, I've been up to like 1am creating content because I was not prepared. But if you're into faith and fitness, that is an awesome one. So many women crave that. And um, I'm happy to share my content and devotionals that I've created. So yeah, but I'll share. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know that Wendy's on here anymore, but if I, I'll get all the docs together of what everyone is sharing. Um, and when I post the recording in the team page, I'll keep editing and adding the Google Doc links um, or files if I can add them so that you guys can go through and look at all the information to go with along with this training. Thanks so much, Cass. That's so great. Um, Sarah, yes, Sarah said as a pastor, she'd love to hear about how you ran a faith and fitness group. Awesome. Lisa, Jenna, Jenna's here. Jenna, do you have some things to share with us? Yeah, I apologize. I'm late. So I am sorry if I repeat something. Um, but okay, so I am super, super simple, you guys. Like inviting is not anything special. <laughs> so if I, again, repeat something or if you're like, yeah, I already do that, I apologize. But this is my process. Um, exactly what I did when I started coaching with expanding my network on Facebook. That was my first platform. I was all about interest groups. Now that my friends list is like, teetering at 5,000. I'm moving more towards connecting with people on Instagram. And that's like my hairy frog because Instagram freaks me out. So, Jenna, sorry. Can you explain interest groups just a little bit? Yeah. So when I, um, you know, was going through new coach training, like you kept hearing like those five pillars or the color wheel or whatever that is, like, what are those qualities that define you? So for me, like I'm a dog mom, like I'm obsessed with my dog. So I'm thinking like, okay, how do I find people that are like me? So I searched on Facebook, like German short hair pointer pages. I have a German short hair pointer dog. So rather than like a dog lover page, I got a little more specific and I would search German short hair pointer pages. And I probably like my goal was to invite or not to invite, to expand my network by like 20 people a day through those interest groups. And that's how I expanded my network from 500 friends to 5,000 friends over the past two and a half years. And within those groups, you know, once you request to join, you could post content in there, engage on other people's posts, kind of just like a challenge group, right? You're looking at other people's posts, you're commenting, you're liking, um, you know, whatever they're posting about, you're sharing your own value and content about your dog or whatever. So take those, you know, qualities about you and search for groups like that because it really is like, that's how you're going to find, you know, your niche or your avatar. Those people that are like you with Facebook, it's interest groups. That's what worked best for me. But now since I'm like teetering those friends lists on, on Facebook, I'm moving more towards Instagram. So think interest groups on Facebook are hashtags on Instagram. So same concept. Think of those hashtags that are like you, right? And now with me, since I am pregnant and I have like a whole new market or audience that I could start, you know, looking for or connecting with people, I'm kind of re going through all of my hashtags that I post on every post of mine. So I typically use the same, what is it? 30, 30 hashtags on every post. 
So what I started doing was I'll take like an hour a day and I'll try to get through as many of my hashtags um, within that hour. So what I mean, what I mean by that is, okay, one of my hashtags is um, body positivity. So I'll go to that actual hashtag and I'll search the feed and I'll find those people that are like me. And I love finding fitness accounts because <laughs> then I'll send an instant um, invite message. And from there, I'm looking at my phone to see one that I've sent. So like an example of a connecting message to someone from a hashtag would be, hey, Maddie, I absolutely adore your page. I love all the positivity spreading your feed. It's totally contagious, and I totally jive with your vibe. Thanks for your inspiration. Tell me about you. What are you, what are you going to school for, and what do you do for fun? I, I saw that she was a student in her bio, but typically I'll put, what do, you, what do you do for a living, and what do you do for fun? Because right then and there, I'm doing that forming, and I'm asking what they do for work or what they do for a living, because that'll start a conversation either about coaching or for fun if their hobbies fitness it kind of bleeds into that um, uh, bridge into that invite so um, in an example of an invite from going off of a hashtag would be sorry I wasn't prepared <laughs> um, Oh, okay. So I'll send like the same beginning message. Like, I totally love your page. Your, um, your positivity is contagious. I totally vibe with you. Um, you know, I'm sorry to be so direct, but this is on my heart. I, I really love the positivity spreading your page. We seem like two peas in a pod. And I have to ask you this because it seems you seem like someone I would love to work with. Have you ever considered helping others with their fitness and nutrition goals? I know you would help so many people continue as you continue inspiring through your own journey. I just had to ask in either way, keep up the inspiration. I would love to send you more information. And I'd be happy to send Christy um, those messages too. But so between going through those hashtags on Instagram, I'm building my following. So I'll follow those people, send either a connecting message or an invite message based off of what my goals are for the day. Um, so that really is what I've been doing now. And then heaven forbid, a hashtag is totally like a dud, then I'll take it off my daily posting hashtag list and I'll find a new one. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. Um, and that's really what I'm doing besides like the typical, if I'm posting a call to action post on Facebook or Instagram, I'm inviting those people that like it. If they comment or like the post, I'm inviting them to either the challenge group that I posted about or the coaching opportunity that I'm posting about. Someone just asked, do you follow all your followers? So this gets kind of hairy because I do use Stim Social. So <laughs> with sending out, like me sending out an initial connecting message or invite, and then say they follow me, I have Stim send an automatic message. <laughs> so that's when I'll show my, like, just me. And I'll be like, haha, sorry about that. I, I have an automatic message sending to my followers. So I'll either say like disregard that message or whatever, but um, I typically don't pay attention to people that follow me because Stim Social kind of takes care of that for me. Um, if I totally jive with someone, like if I'm sending them an invite, I usually add them to what, what you call your whitelist. So Stim does not unfollow them. Does that make sense? So I just like with Facebook, I've never really paid attention to people like they accepting my friend or if they don't accept my friend request same with Instagram like I don't pay much attention to that aspect it takes too much time <laughs> <laughs> love it thanks Jenna that was so good I love this she's so thorough right did everybody follow that so I was like yeah um she's over there like mom brain I don't know what <laughs> Lisa, LaCrystal, did you guys have anything else that you wanted to add? We have about five minutes left. I just do the same thing as what Tracy said, but not in an organized Excel spreadsheet. Mine is literally pen and paper, but I do the same exact thing with highlighters and I write a date and I just extend it a little bit more. So I have a 
write the date that I follow somebody, write their name. And then I, ha I give myself a two to four week period to put them in my pipeline or whatever. And at least once a week, if not more, I'm going through and connecting with all of those people. And then the people that I'm kind of narrowing it down so that the people that are consistently showing up on their social that I'm vibing with even more and connecting with even more, I'll put like a little dot next to. And then once I invite them and they want more information, I'm connected with them through email. And then I ask if they're on Facebook too. I circle them and off we go. And so I've gone through various systems as far as like I have that system, but I've done various number amounts for a while now. So right now, because I kind of usually work in batches. So I'll usually do a batch every week. But right now I'm doing like a six day kind of momentum builder. So um, with my team. So I am doing um, 10 invites of business daily, at least a minimum of that. Um, and that's just been people I've been connecting with anyways. And then I'm aiming to add at least 10, if not 20 new people per day for these six days at least. But usually that kind of ends up about half of that maybe. I usually do in one or two sessions each week is what my norm is. But right now I'm trying to push it a little bit harder. Awesome. So as you guys can see, all of these leaders are inviting, right? And it's all similar but different, all just doing it their way. And that's why you really want to dive in and just try things. It's okay if that doesn't work for you, right? Um, I know Cassie shared earlier about free groups and she rocks free groups. I know Jessica Smith Olson rocks free groups. I tried them for years, years. They didn't work for me. Um, but what did work for me was I also tried doing seven day clean eating challenges or six day clean eating challenges where people are getting Shakeology samples so they can get, now we have them on our websites where you can actually buy, someone can go to your website and get a seven day sampler of Shakeology to try out. Before when I was a new coach, we didn't have those sampler packs. So I would buy packs, packets of Shakeology and sell them. And people would buy six days because there's 24 packets. So I could then get four people to get the six packets. And I would do a clean eating nutrition plan and I would put together a six or seven day free, or not free group because they bought Shakeology, but do a clean eating meal plan that incorporated Shakeology daily. And then I would invite to a challenge group from that. And so for me, that was what worked for me. The free groups didn't, but because they had a little bit of skin in the game, they had paid, you know, $35, $40 for a sampler pack and they had the nutrition plan and they were following that. That really worked for me. Free groups work for some coaches so incredibly well, but you also have to try things, you know, over and over again. I tried free groups for years and years and they just, they didn't. So you dive in and try things. It's okay if it doesn't work. Like if you are inviting, um, we know that building relationships and inviting people does work. You're gonna have a lot of people tell you no. You're gonna have a lot of people not respond. But as you can see from these leaders, like Crystal was just sharing that she do she's doing about 10 coaching invites a day or she usually does that in bulk. So maybe 60 coach invites a week. You know, and she, I don't know, maybe two or three coaches sign up with you a month, Crystal. Is that about correct? <laughs> yeah, that's why I've just upped mine because I want my numbers to go up. So I've upped my invites. So that's not what I've been inviting when I had that. Right. So, so it's not that we have a, everyone say yes to us or everyone not responding. So just keep that in mind. Try things you know, find that, that thing that works for you, tweak it. Um, it's always going to look a little different. And that's why I wanted you to see just an overall various ways that people build their coaching business. They're all doing the same thing. They're growing their network. They're connecting with people. They're inviting people. And you guys have incredible stories and an incredible message that people need to hear directly from you. Not my story, not Crystal's, not Lisa's. They need to hear your story 